pickled onions and pickled carrots in your fridge at all times because they're perfect for the summer. Normally I can fill a jar with just one large red onion, but I had to use an onion and a half for this. I'm gonna use a mandolin because that's the way you can get the slices super, super thin. And there ain't no shame in kitchen safety. Yes, I'm using a glove. I like to use a wide mouth mason jar. Any container will work. You'll stuff your onions into whatever container that you're using and really get them in there. For the pickled carrots, I just cheat. I just buy the bag of already shredded carrots. Otherwise it would take forever. For the pickling brine, I'm doing one cup of red wine vinegar and one cup of regular vinegar. I used to do just two cups of red wine vinegar but one time I ran out and I had to mix it and it turned out really good so I just stick with it. One cup of water, two tablespoons of sugar, two teaspoons of salt, a bunch of garlic, a handful of peppercorns, and two bay leaves. I'm gonna bring this up to boil and then let it just cool down a little bit. I don't let it cool down completely. I just don't trust myself with pouring boiling hot water into small containers. So I let it cool. I'm gonna divide the bay leaves and the garlic into both jars and just simply pour the liquid over evenly into both containers. Now, you know I have all the kitchen gadgets, so I'm gonna use fermentation springs to push down the carrots and the onions, but you do not need this, okay? You can just use like a crinkled up piece of parchment paper. Let them sit over night and they're done but honestly i have these in my fridge all the time you have to keep